I'm Karen Iba and welcome back to Holo Holo. Now before the break, we chatted with Jasmine, the Artistic Director of the 12th Annual Indian Film Festival of Los Angeles. Joining me now is the director of his first feature film, Mahesh Paylor. His film is Brahmin Bull. Yes. <laughs> welcome. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Now first, congratulations on your first feature yeah. film. But you're no stranger to the film festivals, right? No, I've, I've, you know, I've done a lot of film school and I've done a lot yeah. of short films, so I've, I've sort of done the rounds. And this is my first feature, but I feel like I've been doing it for a long time. <laughs> yeah, now you directed and co-wrote. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first tell me what inspired you to write the film? Uh, well, you know, it's, it's a few things. One thing, um, you know, living in LA as an independent filmmaker, you're always you're always trying to push projects. Yeah. And and I think it was actually my wife who I co-wrote the film with, uh -huh. and she was like, well, I think you need to make a film that's a low-budget movie, and you should write something that's a little bit more personal. Mm -hmm. So um, that was sort of like the the first thing that said, okay, well, what what, what is the story that we can tell? Right. And for me personally, um, you know, I'm, I'm in my 30s now, and I think um, I always have, I, you know, although it's not completely autobiographical, uh -huh. the story does relate to my own relationship to my own dad, and I and I've sort of noticed. Um, you know, in my 30s, that you know, I have a different relationship to my parents, mm -hmm. and I've sort of seen them now as as individuals, not just yeah. parents. Yeah. And I realize, <laughs> you know, they were individuals before me. Exactly. And so uh, I think that's what we explore in the movies, sort of that relationship. How long did it take for you and your wife to write the film? Uh, it took us probably uh, for the writing process probably about about two years. It yeah. took a while. And then you directed it as well. Yes. Did, mm -hmm. So did you get a um, decision to who to cast? Well, you know. Um, Casting, it, again, you know, when you're making independent film, you're always looking for the resources around you. So you're right. making them with friends, family. Mm -hmm. And um, and Sindhal Ramamurthy was actually a good friend of mine. Okay. And <laughs> we had made a short film years ago. Uh -huh. So it was always meant for him. Yeah. And then the rest of the cast, you know, we had great casting directors mm -hmm. on board who helped us out. Um, but then, you know, we just were looking for people that we knew. And um, we were in India, uh, and I, you know, wanted to always work with Russian Seth. So. Uh -huh. We contacted him and kind of convinced him to be in the movie. So. But um, it's not fully set in India, right? Because no. isn't, it, isn't it set here in Los Angeles? Yeah, it's actually yeah. Completely, <laughs> completely set in Los set Angeles. In Los Angeles. Okay. Yeah. okay, now tell me what you would like um, people to get out of watching your film. You know, I think... Um, well, first, I, I just think it's I think it's a heartwarming movie. Yeah. It's a movie that that is about relationships. <laughs> Although it stars you know two Indian leads, right. um, it's a universal story. That we about all can relate. And people are going to come and go, but the houses that they live in stick around for years later. You know, Vedic philosophy. There are phases in life. You're in the second phase, work and family. Well, I um, don't think we're ready for kids yet. Why not? Everything all right in the bedroom? And it's about these relationships, and and sometimes um, you know the the people in our lives surrounding them as mm -hmm. well. So I think I think for for I, I just want people to have an, uh, you know enjoy. Um, you know, enjoy the movie, have a good time. I think it's funny, it's heartwarming, yeah. and it's dramatic. And people are responding yeah. well to it, getting mm -hmm. positive reviews, because I heard you won the Audience Choice Award at yeah. the San Diego Film Festival. Yeah, yeah what was, was that like? It was really great. <laughs> uh -huh. um, and that was actually our first premiere screening, so it was, oh, really? it was kind of nice validation to <laughs> yeah. see that people were Is, sort of enjoying the movie and, and responding to it. Do you feel like it's a lot of pressure because it is your first feature film? You're like, oh my goodness. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. I think so, because, you know, it's uh, as, especially when, when you're making a movie, Movie, you really don't know like how people are going to respond to things, and so right. it's a little scary when you when you release it out. <laughs> but um, but it's nice to just to see that people are watching it and like it, and yes. and so hopefully uh, more people will watch it. I'm sure, and it's showcasing mm -hmm. at the Indian Film Festival yes, this year uh -huh. on April 12th. April 12th. At what time? 9:15. Yeah. <laughs> now, yeah. for more information on the Indian Film Festival and your film, yeah. where can we go? Uh, for uh, the Indian Film Festival Los Angeles, I believe it's IndianFilmFestival.org, yeah. right. and then for uh, my film Brahmin Bulls, it's ramenbulls.com. Yeah, and we can get tickets at the Indian at, on the, Festival. Yes, on the website. Yeah, on mm -hmm. the website. Thank you so yeah, thank much. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> Again, for more information on Brahmin Bulls, their website is below. And don't forget to get tickets. They are screening April 12th at 9.15 p.m. at the Arclight Theatres in Hollywood. Time for a quick break, but we have more Holo Holo news when we return.